smoked pork tenderloin recipe on a pellet smoker. Pork tenderloin is so underrated, but when you do it on a pellet smoker, it's so dang good. So grab a bag of pellets, Hocus. We're gonna amplify some backyard barbecue fun. I took these four pork tenderloins out of the package and patted them dry with some paper towel. And up by the head, I made sure that I trimmed off that silver skin because you don't wanna take a bite of that because it's gonna make it a lot more chewy. But I left the fat on because there's not that much and it adds a little bit of flavor. I always tie up these little pork tenderloins because it does help get a little bit more even cooking across that loin. Typically, I just fold over the tail and then I tie it up, but this time I cut it off and leveled it out so it was about the same size as the head. Just cut it, flip it around, and lace it back up. Then I put them on a wire rack and season them up with some notorious pig from PS Seasoning. This rub has a little bit of red pepper flake in it and it's gonna give you a little bit more zip in that bite. While those pork loins are sweating up a little bit, let's turn on our pellet smoker. And for today's cook, I'm using some fruit wood blend from Lumberjack Pellets. We won't even use this much, but we're gonna fill it up and the next cook we use, we'll have some fruit wood in there. Turn the power on, press ignite, and we're gonna turn it up to 275 degrees. Now we're just gonna preheat the pellet grill for about 15 minutes. My pellet smoker is preheated at that 275 degrees. Let's get these little pork tenderloins under some smoke. I'm gonna place them right here about in the center, and we're gonna start out with the heads towards the fire pot. I'm using my small needles today, so we'll get them through. And it's always a little hotter on the outside of this pit, but I don't want to go in the big thick area. So I'm just going to put this probe kind of in the back end for now. And my second probe, this is actually a great landing spot for it right there. I'm going to watch my temperatures and about every 15 degrees that these come up, I'm going to rotate these inside the pit 90 degrees. So that'll give us a nice even cooking. And now I'm just going to close up my lid. And once I reach an internal temperature of 130 degrees, I'll bring it back because we've got a big surprise. We're an hour into this cook and my temperatures are reading 130 degrees internal. Now it's time for our surprise. We're using some of this Blues Hogs Raspberry Chipotle for our glaze on these pork tenderloins. And it is always so darn good. Start off and just give a little bit of squirt along them. Try to keep it in the center as much as possible. I don't mind if I get a little bit on my heat deflector because when it's burning on that heat deflector, it smells so dang good. Just take your brush and kind of dab it on a little bit and spread it out. Make sure you're getting those ends too. This is gonna give us a little bit of that sweet heat that goes so good on pork. And it's gonna give us that beautiful barbecue sheen. And you could see that these started to grab a lot of smoke. So we're gonna have enough smoke flavor for sure. Now I'm just gonna wait until I reach 135 and I'll give it another coat. I'm an hour and 20 minutes into this cook and we've reached an internal temperature of 140 degrees. It's time to get these pork tenderloins out of that pit. Well, they certainly have some really good color. Get in here and check some internal temperatures. Eh, this one's about 142, 142. So we'll pull out our probes and we're gonna get them out of here. I'm gonna put these on the cutting board and we're gonna loosely tent them with some aluminum foil and let them rest for about 15 minutes. These pork tenderloins have rested for 15 minutes. I'm getting hungry and it's time to take a look at them. I certainly love the color on these. Let's go ahead and get a couple strings off. There's our little piece, but wow, I can tell it's already tender. Get her back underneath there. Now the doneness on pork is 145 degrees. So when you're pulling them at 140 and wrapping them up with some aluminum foil, they're gonna carry over. This way you're gonna retain some of the moisture and they're gonna be nice and tender. When I'm squeezing down on these, I can hear the juices in them. Probably even see it on the cutting board a little bit. Slide these over a little bit. Let's just go ahead and start slicing into them. I like to make the slices nice and thin. Oh yeah, she's still nice and tender. Got some good steam coming off of them. I don't know how well my camera is gonna pick this up, but this is crazy tender. Let's try a piece. <laughs> Perfect, tender and juicy, tasty. Well, you know I don't squeeze my meat or anything, huh? but man almighty is this juicy. Just take a look at Whoa. that. It's crazy. And it's so good. You can use whatever types of flavors you want on these little pork tenderloins. I've used this combination many times and it always tastes so good on pork. 
This is a winner. Everybody always talks about the money muscle pulled pork. Pork belly will give some pork tenderloin some love. Because right now, let's face it, beef is kind of expensive, and this could be a great alternative. Well, that's all I got. Roll the nation. Hocus Pocus left a message about, he never says my name. So, there you go, Hocus Pocus. Thanks for watching, buddy. I appreciate it. Turn that fan on immediately. Open the door. <laughs>